Your body can need mending in all sorts of ways, and we're going to meet some special teams that are trained to fix you. <laughs> Speaking is one of the most complicated things you can do. And while I bet you know that your lips and tongue and voice box are all involved, I bet you don't know what your soft palate does or even where it is. Well, open your mouth and say ah. Uh... See that? It's where the dangly bit hangs from. And most of us use it without even thinking about it. But today, we're going to meet a patient who's learning to use hers. Nine-year-old Millie is in speech therapy after she was born with a cleft palate. This means she had a hole going through the roof of her mouth to her nose. She's had a series of operations to fix this. However, Millie still finds speaking a little bit difficult. There are some sounds that you find really easy and some sounds that you find difficult. And I find the S word more difficult than other words. And that's, that's the one you've been working on today, isn't it? Yeah. When you make a speech sound like an S, the soft palate needs to lift up and make a seal with the back of the throat. In Millie's case, she isn't able to do that. So when air comes up, it isn't directed just into her mouth, it also escapes down her nose as well. To help her with that, she's working with speech therapist Jane O'Connell. Today I've joined the class and Jane's set us a challenge. I've got to make up a sentence for each of these words. And then I'll be better than you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you might use powerful adjectives. Yeah. I don't think I know any powerful adjectives. <laughs> so. My dad showed um, the word to make a door. My dad sawed the wood to make a door. Good sentence. Now it's my turn. Uh, I saw the sun shining in the sky. No, what saw? What is Millie's having none of it. So I can't say I saw the sun? No. No, I meant like I saw the sun. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> well, you tried. I think I need my homework more than Millie. <laughs> <laughs> there are other sounds that most of us take for granted, but again, our bodies have to do more than you'd think. Make a mmm sound for me. Mmm. OK, what happens if I hold your nose? Listen to what happens to mm. that sound. Mm. Oh, I can't. I can't do it. No. What would normally happen is the air would come down your nose, but because I'm holding your nose, I'm blocking the air from coming down. And it actually turns that sound into almost a b sound. So try that at home, make a mmm sound. And the mmm sound is a nasal sound where the air does have to come out your nose. And if you block your nose, mm, mm, you can't make the sound, so it becomes a b as the air escapes. So the really difficult thing that Millie's having to learn is to consciously control muscles that most people don't even know exist, like the muscles at the top and the back of your mouth. And so that is quite a skill to master. Before we finish, Millie's got her own speaking challenge for me. OK, so I've got to say red lorry and yellow lorry. That's fast. Fast. <laughs> red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red... Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> oh, she beat me again. Good luck, Millie.